During the March 2011 Japan earthquake and tsunami, there were many questions about the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant and the release of radioactive material from the crippled facility. We were prepared to respond because we're always prepared 24-7. And as you can imagine, uh, having uh, these reactors swamped with water created radioisotope distributions in the water and air. This type of uh, response was the most complicated uh, incident I've ever seen. A nightmare certainly for the Japanese and anybody who was in Japan. Of particular concern were questions about the medical impacts of radiation exposure. REACT's experts were tasked to support the U.S. response to Fukushima because of their expertise of medically managing radiation incidents. There was a lot of, uh, really a lot of concern over the radioactive iodine that was released and the radioactive materials involved in this. Serving as a resource for both the U.S. Embassy in Tokyo and the U.S. military, REACT's received more than 200 inquiries from around the world. REACT's experts are also knowledgeable in radiation treatment drug therapy. Some of the questions were fairly straightforward. Should I be using this drug? Should I not be using this drug? Um, the levels of, of radioactive materials were not to the level that we had to recommend treatment. In August 2011, REACT's personnel conducted training in Japan as part of the continuing U.S. response to the Fukushima reactor crisis. In recent years, REACTS has traveled to more than 25 countries to conduct medical training. We manage all sorts of hazards in our environment, uh, chemical, physical, electricity, and so forth. We have to do a better job of educating people about uh, what's a realistic hazard with respect to radiation and what's not.